Your Coca-Cola bottler presents Claudia, based on the famous play and novels by Rose Franken. Brought to you transcribed Monday through Friday by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Relax, and while you're listening, refresh yourself. Have a Coke. And now, Claudia. Who was it at the door, Claudia? It's a package for you of all people. Can you imagine at this hour of the night oh. here? Where's it from? Little boy from the hardware store downtown. What is it? What is it? A package for me, you just said. I know, but it might it be It is some... not something for you. I wasn't thinking that. Not much you were. Can't I buy myself something for a change? Well, certainly you can once in a while. Not too often, but once in a while if you're good. Is there something I can use too, darling? Well, I certainly hope not. You'd probably chop off your big toe using it. Chop off my big toe? Mm-hmm. Now, what would one use to chop? It's awfully heavy, too, you know. Yes, I know. Can't imagine what it is. I bet you 20 cents with a few more hints I can guess what's going on. Well, you just give me the package, and I'll give you the 20 cents, and you won't have to guess. I like to guess. All right, it's the deal. Shake. Here you are, package. 20 cents. Thank you very much. You're welcome very much. Well, David, aren't you going to open it? No, I know what's in it. I don't have to open it. Besides, I am busy. Oh, you're impossible. All right, be busy. Make your one to. and only wife who loves you deeply and sincerely die of curiosity. Mm, See if I care. Carrying on, I never can. What's one package more or less in my life? Mm, I don't know. If you did buy it at the hardware store, why couldn't you bring it home yourself? Because my love, my Thank sweet you. darling angel, Thank they didn't you. have it in stock at the moment. Oh. So they asked me if it'd be all right to send it over tonight, all right? Very logical, I must admit. It certainly is. David, are you going to tell me or do you prefer torturing uh, A little self-discipline and a little less curiosity would go a long way in this house. Poofle to self-discipline. Poofle yourself. This package isn't for me. There is no reason why you should keep its contents a secret. It isn't a secret. It's a hatchet. A who? A what? A hatchet? A small hatchet. We have a hatchet, a small hatchet. We have a large hatchet. No, no, no. We have a small one, too. You bought it just a few weeks ago. David, you've gone hatchet crazy. Who ever heard of one household with two small hatchets? We want no hatchet to bury, do we? If you will allow me to interrupt this stream of consciousness, or rather unconsciousness, let me assure you that we only have one hatchet on the place. Well, then what happened to the other one, the new one you bought? I don't know what happened to it. You mean you, 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 you mean you... You forgot you bought it? I mean, no such thing. It's gone. It's disappeared, and I don't know what happened to it. Now, are you satisfied? No. I didn't think you would be. I wasn't. Come on, tell me what really happened to it. Oh. Can't just go around buying hatchets all the time because you don't know what happened to the other one. Well, what would you suggest I do? Find out what happened to the other one. Doesn't it cross your mind that I... That I, I might have done just that? Then you have found out. Why didn't you say that? I have not found out. (sighs) You don't make any sense. Mm, go away. Maybe Fritz put it somewhere. You don't know where he put it. I maybe. asked Fritz. Oh. Well, then maybe Fritz put it someplace and he forgot where now, he put Fritz it. Fritz is not the kind of man who puts hatchets somewhere and then forgets where he put it. No, I guess you're right. He isn't. Of course he isn't. Well, maybe it's just misplaced or something. No, it's been over a week now that it's gone. We searched high and low for it. Couldn't find it. Mm. You know, there aren't very many hatchets like it. That's why I had trouble getting this second one. Why don't you tell me, darling? Why should I? You just might have. What do you think happened? I don't know. Then you do know. Now, who said I know? Well, the way you said I don't know. You know, all right. Come on, tell me. There is nothing to tell you. A man is supposed to share his secrets with his wife. This is not a secret. You think it was stolen, don't you? Now, I said no such thing, Of course you said no such thing. You're not the kind of man who'd say such a thing. That's what you think. That's why you kept quiet about the whole thing. I uh, look, Claudia, I'm I'm reading my book. No, you're not. You're telling me what you think happened to that hatchet. Oh. See, I can't imagine anybody stealing anything out of our barn. Stealing? Who would do such a thing and why? For somebody who wants a small hatchet, obviously. David, what's your hunch? Claudia, a man doesn't go around accusing someone else of stealing a hatchet That's on a hunch. That's all right, darling. A man is innocent until he's proved guilty. You're right. Now, where on earth did you hear that? On a radio program. Well... No. In spite of where you heard it, it's true. I know, I know. So don't you go around accusing anybody either. Who would I accuse? I, I don't no know idea. who did it. Well, you'll think of somebody. I certainly don't like thinking there's a, a thief around the neighborhood. That's no, an awful thing. it's not thing. very serious. Stealing is very serious, David. Now, anybody who would steal a small hatchet isn't a thief. Well, then what is he? Oh, just somebody who wants a small hatchet. Yes, the next thing that somebody will want is a diamond necklace or $50,000. 
Well, we'll just have to lock the doors at night. So they won't get your diamond necklace. There's nothing to tell. Now, do you mind if I go back to my book? No, 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 not at all. Go on back. I'd like to. Hmm. Eight o'clock. And all is dark. You know, in summer at eight o'clock, it's daylight. You and I could be out walking. Wouldn't that be nice? I'm very satisfied, thank you, just as it is. Like a vegetable. That was the doorbell again. You don't say I heard it. You didn't buy another hatchet, did you? Oh, sure. I bought a dozen hatchets. You They're coming one at a time at intervals of every ten minutes. Well, I wouldn't put it past you. Go on, read your book. I'll answer the door. I wonder who that is now. It's funny. Well, in a minute, you'll see. Well, for heaven's sakes, come on in. Good evening, ma'am. It's Jimmy, David. Well, come on in, Jimmy. Well, Jimmy, what brings you around at this hour of the night? I met Miss Norton downtown before dinner. He asked me Good to... for Mr. Norton. Hi there, Jimmy. Hi there, Mr. Norton. Oh, how about something to drink, Jimmy? A glass of milk or Coke or something? No, thanks. I gotta get home. I told Mama I'd just be out a few minutes. Oh, I see. Well, we haven't seen you in quite a while, Jimmy. Oh, just a little over a week. You've, um... You've been up to the barn, eh? How'd you know? Oh, <laughs> Hay on your shoes. Nice, sweet smell of the barn about you. Oh, oh. That's Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, I just dropped in to say hello to the heifer. Oh, how is she? Oh, she's fine. Good. She's coming along, getting big. Yeah, she's six weeks old now. It sure is hard to think she's only six weeks old. That's exactly how I felt the night she was born. I couldn't believe she was just newborn. She seemed so complete. I saw the pig, too. You're getting quite a barn full. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Say, uh... But hey, Jimmy, I... I bought you something. You bought me something? Yeah. I finally managed to pick one up down at the hardware store. I I thought you might like it. It's a handy thing to have around. What is it? Uh, open the package there. David? No, go ahead, Jimmy. Open it. It's it's uh, for you. Gee, Whizzicus, I can't imagine. You're a swell guy buying something from me. David, what's going on here? Now, nothing's going on here. Why? Dope. That's a new hatchet. I don't see anything. It's so mysterious. Say... Gee, this is a hatchet, Mr. Norton. Yeah, that's what it is, all right. It's a nice one. You know, hatchets like that aren't easy to get, Jimmy. Yeah. Can, um, can you use one like that, Jimmy? Well, well, I, I don't know. Oh, sure you can. All kids can use a hatchet, particularly a small one like this one. You know, I, I remember when I was your age, I, I would have given an eye tooth for one like that. You you would have. I certainly would have. I would have done I would have done most anything to get one. You would have? Sure I would. But look at this hatchet. It's small and it's light and shiny. It's it's wonderful for chopping up your firewood or ooh, any number of things. Uh go on, take it, Jimmy. Take it. It it it's yours. You mean you absolutely Honestly, you want to give it to me? Yeah, yeah. How many times do I have to tell you? Go, go, go ahead, pick it up. Gee, you're such a swell guy, Mr. Norton. What's all this fuss about a little hatchet? Well, you're a pretty swell guy yourself, Jimmy, so uh, so it's yours. No, I can't. I can't take it, Mr. Norton. I can't take it. Jimmy, what's the matter? What, why not? i got to tell you. I... I took the other one. The other one? Yeah. I was up at the barn last week, and I seen it. And, gosh, I always wanted a little hatchet like that, and then I took it. I didn't mean to take it, but I took it. And if you let me go home now, I'll go and get it. Gee, will you ever speak to me again? I, I, uh, I don't see why you're making such a fuss, Jimmy. But it's, it's wrong. It's awful wrong. I stole something from you. And I wouldn't blame you if you never let me in your house again. You must think I'm a terrible person. Oh, I, uh, don't think anything like that, Jimmy. I think that you saw something you wanted and helped yourself to it, and you've you've been sorry every since that you did. Just because you've been sorry you did it, I don't think that you'll do it again. So, as, as far as I'm concerned, that's just about all there is to it. You bet that's all there is to it. I haven't been able to use that hatchet. I hated it. I had it at home, and every time I took it out and looked at it, I hated it. Well, I'll tell you what you do. You run along home, and we'll see you back here in a few minutes. We'll start we'll start all over, absolutely fresh with a, with a new hatchet, all right? 
You know, Mr. Norton, if my papa were alive, I'd wish he were you. Oh. I'm going back to get that hatchet. So long. So long, Jimmy. Darling. Hmm? How'd you know it was Jimmy? That Jimmy had taken the hatchet? Yeah. Well, I wasn't sure until he came around again tonight and said he'd been up to the barn. I never thought Jimmy would be the kind of boy who'd steal. He isn't the kind of boy who would... Well, he was. No, nothing of the sort. Now, mind you, I'm not condoning what he did. It wasn't right. But he he knew it wasn't right. So he didn't get any kick or thrill out of it the way he had expected to. You see, the way I figure it, that kind doesn't often do it again. David, does every little boy go through that stage, you think? No, oh, I suppose so, in one way or another. I... I took pennies out of my mother's pocketbook once, I remember. And I didn't return a book to the library. <laughs> the kids who don't take anything sometimes wish they had. Mm, that could be worse, I guess. Poor Jimmy. The little boy misses not having a father. Now, if the hatchet incident is closed, I would like to all get right, back... All right, all right. Go on, back to your book. David, darling... You know, our Bobby's going to be a little boy someday. That is no news. Nope. But it's wonderful he'll have a father like you. To win the approval of a teenager is no small achievement, as mothers of the junior set know. But there's one sure way to do it. Provide plenty of ice-cold Coca-Cola for after school and after study hours. Enough Coke so that friends can be entertained in the manner to which they're accustomed. That will get you orchids every time, from girls and boys alike. Were you listening today by any chance, Mr. King? Listening? Yeah. Oh, Claudia, I always listen. I wouldn't miss what goes on between you and David oh, or anything. Well, I'm not much of, much, much of a much to listen to, but honestly, don't, don't you think David was wonderful with Jimmy? I thought he handled it pretty well, if that's what you mean. You know, because he, he could have been so stuffy about pointing out a lesson. As it was, I didn't have any idea myself why he asked Jimmy to drop in this evening. Well, neither did I. The thing I loved about it was that he took the trouble to go to all that trouble. It seems a little thing, small boy and small hatchet, and yet it could be a turning point in Jimmy's life. I should say it could. I guess sometimes he handles me the same way. He does? Yep, but I never let on I know he does. Well, uh, do you ever handle David that way? Mm, occasionally. Seems to me like life goes on pretty smoothly in the Norton household, though. Oh, yes, in big things we see pretty much eye to eye. What don't you see eye to eye in? Ashtrays, for one thing. If David had his way, he'd have ashtrays as big as soup tureens. Well, I don't blame him. Have you uh, quarreled about it? Well, not yet, but I expect we will. Almost any day now. We're always on the brink. Well, when it happens, that's something I want to hear. So think I'll drop in tomorrow on the chance. And as I was about to say, every day, Monday through Friday, Claudia comes to you transcribed with the best wishes of your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. So listen again tomorrow at the same time. And now this is Joe King saying au revoir. And remember, whoever you are, whatever you do, wherever you may be, when you think of refreshment, think of Coca-Cola. For Coca-Cola makes any pause the pause that refreshes. And ice-cold Coca-Cola is everywhere. These broadcasts are adapted for radio by Manya Starr, and the entire production is supervised and directed by William Brown Maloney. And now, here's a word from your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola.